Welcome to Children's Corner, where we come to be with God, to listen to God, and hear the stories of God. There are many things we do to get ready to be with God, and one of the first is to light our Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us in this room and everywhere. Next, we share our greeting with one another. Our greeting is that the Lord be with you and with you also. Before we hear the stories of God, we always sing our special song to remind us it's time for us to quiet ourselves and to listen what God might be telling us in the story. Please join me in singing Be Still and Know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. In the beginning, God gave us the great gifts, the gifts of light and water, of earth and people. And God said, they are very good. But the people grew wicked and began to do bad things. God was sad. Everything that was clean and new at creation seemed spoiled. But there was one good family. There was the mother and the father, Noah. God said to Noah, I will send a great flood to cover the earth, to wash everything clean and new again. Build an ark. and place every kind of animal family in it. The animals came from everywhere.
begin to rain and rain and rain. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights so that everything on the earth and everyone was covered with water. Everything except the ark. God remembered Noah. The rain stopped. God sent a wind to dry up the rain. Noah took a dove, stretched out his hand, and the dove flew off. But it found only water, so it returned. God sent the dove out a second time. Noah sent the dove out a second time. And this time, it returned with an olive branch. Noah sent the dove a third time. This time it did not return. It had found a new home. All the animals came out of the ark. They were home too. Everything was clean and new again. Noah and his family were so happy. They had to give thanks to God. So they built a special place. altar and prayed their thanksgiving to God for they were home and God made a promise to never send such a flood again God gave a sign a rainbow so that every time we see the rainbow we remember God's promise it was a sign to Noah, and it was a sign to, it's a sign to us. When we see the rainbow in the sky, we remember God's promise to never send such a flood of water again. I wonder what it was like to be inside the ark with all that rain. I wonder what it was like to be surrounded by so much water. I wonder what it felt like when God sent the wind to dry up that water. I 
wonder what it felt like to be home again, for everything to be clean and new. I wonder what it will be like to start over again. I wonder how Noah and his family felt and how we might feel every time we see God's promise, the rainbow. Our story today comes from the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, chapter 9, verses 8 through 15. Let's hear part of the story as God tells it. God said to Noah and his sons, I am now making my covenant with you and with your descendants and with all living things, all birds and all animals, everything that came out of the boat with you. With these words, I make my covenant with you. I promise that never again will all living beings be destroyed by a flood. Never again will a flood destroy the earth. As a sign of this everlasting covenant, which I am making with you and with all living beings, I am putting my bow in the clouds. It will be the sign of my covenant with the world. Whenever I cover the sky with clouds and the rainbow appears, I will remember my promise to you and to all the animals that a flood will never again destroy all living beings. Thanks be to God. As we close, will you please join me in singing, Go Now in Peace. Go now in peace, go now in peace, may the love of God surround you. watch as I change the light of Christ, the light that was once in one place at one time, can now be in all places and all times with us in this room and wherever we may be. Amen. <laughs>